to do that. The federal government is being sued to release the identity of all the troubled banks that are getting a helping hand or money from the TARP. Bloomberg News claiming that information should be known to the public. And you should know, by the way, that Fox Business is among those who have asked for a Freedom of Information Act request from the government to get those names revealed to us. Ron Devari is chief executive officer of New Oak Capital. He is former head of structured finance at BlackRock, and he says the more we know about the program, the better he joins us now. Great to see you. Thanks Thank very much well. for coming in. Uh, so you say that revealing how the Fed values collateral that if, if we reveal what the Fed has now on its books that exactly. they have taken over from the distressed financials, that could actually help the situation. How? I think more than what it is, also the valuation that they took those assets at. Because obviously it's the taxpayer's money and you need to know uh, at the end of the day whether those values really reflect whether you know, those loans are really good or not good. Uh, that's not part of the overall TARP program. We think if the market knows about the value of these assets, and they essentially will, uh, then the methodology used, perhaps that adds to the liquidity in the marketplace, they think actually there's a backstop for those assets, and that should bring more capital to the market and really ultimately reduces the need of using the taxpayer's money and going into the private, you know, which is ultimately the goal. We'd like to get out of this so that government is not as much also. more involved. I'm just wondering if they're taking a page out of, say, for example, the FDIC's book. That's our money, too, yet Correct. Sheila Bear and company will not reveal uh, the troubled bank list, which has grown Absolutely. moment by moment. But I don't think they want to instigate fear. Um, what would be the argument on the TARP side right. against letting us know who's getting the money? Well, I think, you know, and there are two different cases. One, the identity of the people who are going to get the money or have have gotten it, and the other part has to do with the, uh, the valuation of those assets. There are two different arguments, I think. I think, you know, a lot of the investors obviously want to know because they're investors in these financial institutions, and they want to know who are the ones who actually, and they can make their own judgment about whether those institutions are really in trouble. They can read their balance sheet. They can ask what the assets are. Now, you know, when, whenever we try to do this from the Fed, the Fed will say, look, we are not the United States government. We are an independent a banking institution sure. and therefore we are not required by law so it might require specific legislation to get something like that done sure. that's that's what yeah. their complaint is I think the Fed can reveal actually the assets and the methodology uh, one step short of identifying the the, the actual uh, parties that have gotten the loans if they want to go that far and that by itself will go very far in terms of to unclogging the market uh, How? why how would that work again well if you know the list of assets and the valuation and the market knows uh, that essentially sets a level where the bid and ask will be played around those values even if we don't know the exact names of those asking for help uh, right. I mean, that doesn't matter, right? It's the assets that we really ultimately care. And I, I believe that institutions finally are going to get rid of these assets. They're going to have to sell them if they're really the troubled assets. You know, with the list has expanded from being highly liquid, AAA, a very small list to really grown to almost Will anything. Will we see reverse auctions to get rid of these things? Uh, I hope so, because that would be the least way of, uh, you know, uh, uh, creating what we consider a conflict of Even interest. Even though your old firm, BlackRock, had no problem in buying some of these distressed assets at a discount. Well, you know, I can't comment on that, but I think obviously as investors, we always, uh, some people like more transparency and others don't. And, and I think uh, in general, I think transparency is good for the overall market. I think we need to get over this crisis and get into a more normally functioning market so that, 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 that we get back to a normal business. I think that's the ultimate goal. What do you, you're a betting man. What's your bet? Are we going to get there soon? Uh, no, I think that it's going to be somewhere in the second and third quarter. Uh, it's going to, it takes a lot to actually get uh, these assets prepared for, mm. for auction. It's a lot different than uh, the, the, the uh, essentially equity infusion in the, in the financial institutions because that's easy. You set the terms, you do it, and that's done, and there's no question asked. Uh, but, but when you get into actually trying to buy and sell assets, there will be a lot of questions about whether they were done at the right price, at the right level, and to the right parties, and they have to be very careful.
Ron Davari, Chief Executive Officer of New Oak Capital. Come again. We'd love to hear your perspective, especially if much. they open up the uh, the books for yeah, us. Yeah, maybe that you could run nice. the reverse auction. I can do the valuation <laughs> for you. All right, thanks very <laughs> thanks, much. Thanks, Ron. Well, the Thank Church of the Holy Sepulchre.